Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mufida and I'd like it if you subscribe to my channel. So today I'm going to be taking you guys through a very simple makeup routine. I've been getting comments of late people asking me to do a routine that is like really simple, suitable for work, suitable for everyday, suitable for the simple girlies. They don't want anything complicated and I'm like, okay, sure. This is gonna be the most basic routine. So so you pick and choose whatever works for you as usual you don't have to go by this exact routine just pick and choose you know what fits into your you know your vibe so I feel like um, I should put this out there if you are gonna be starting this routine you want to pick this exact routine it's gonna take you probably 30 minutes to do which is a lot considering like everyday makeup for work you don't want to sit down and do your makeup for 30 minutes but as and when you get comfortable with it you get used to it I feel like it's gonna get easier Easier and you're gonna cut it down to like 15 minutes and 20 minutes depending on how fast and how things go for you you know sometimes you are doing your makeup and your brows are seated like everything is going smoothly and then you just finish your makeup and some days your brows are just not giving and you have to keep going back and forth so yeah it depends on you know you yeah I feel like I've put all the disclaimers out there so if you want to see how this video goes down carry on watching and let's get right into it I just moisturized my lips with Aquaphor nothing special to see here so i'm gonna start off with my eyebrows i personally like to do my eyebrows before or after my makeup i'm using the got to be edge control it works really well as an eyebrow gel for me i'm gonna use just a little bit of it okay that's my neva you just need a little bit of it you don't need a lot I'm just gonna let that dry down while I clean up the bottom part of my brows. This um, technique works for me, like doing my eyebrows. I like to gel them down and clean the bottom part. It just gives me better looking eyebrows. I'm going in with my two concealers for my eyebrows. You guys know that I am mixing these two together now. I'm going ahead to blend out the concealer under my brows. I'm going in with a little bit of setting powder to set the base of my brows, like the concealer at the bottom of my brows. And then I'm going in with my Juvia's Place brow product, the brow pen and brow pencil to fill in my brows. Filling the brows are optional. Some people don't like to fill in their brows every day. They just use a brow gel, a tinted brow gel, and they are good. I, however, like to fill my brows in. So if you're not a girly that likes to fill your brows in, you can just use your brow gel or whatever you do to your brows and just keep it moving, keep it pushing. You don't have to pick up this exact routine. Okay, so brows are out of the way. I'm going to prime my skin with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. Mm -hmm. 
For foundation, I am mixing these two. This is a NAS Soft Matte Foundation in the shade Marie and Macau. I'm gonna go in with my concealer. This is the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Warm Sand. I'm gonna place that here. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. I'm gonna go in with a cream foundation for my contour slash bronzer. You guys know the drill. I use the Juvia's Place Thick Foundation in the shade Sokoto. And then what's left on the brush, I go onto my jawline with. I'm going back in with a sponge to do some extra blending. I'm gonna go in with a cream blush. Feel free to skip this step if you are not a cream blush girly. I'm going in to blend out my nose contour. I'm just going with the bronzer all over my eyelids. I'm not going to be applying eyeshadow so the bronzer I'm just spreading it out just to give the eyeshadow effect like a brown smoky eyeshadow effect I'm going in with my Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade blondie to set all the areas that I applied concealer to before I set I'm gonna go ahead and go under my eyes just to iron out any creases I'm going to set with a powder and a powder puff.
and then I'm gonna set the rest of my face with a pressed powder this is pressed powder from Sephora the Sephora micro smooth powder in the shade mahogany using a big powder brush and I'm gonna avoid the under eye area because I want to keep that place bright I'm gonna go in with a bronzer. I'm going all over the places that I applied the cream contour to. You can skip this step, but I am extra, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> So there are two things, you can um, skip cream contour and use a powder bronzer, whatever works for you. And I just apply that to my hairline and my temple area. And for my chin, I always go with the powder cause it's less muddy when I use a powder directly onto my jawline. And I'm quite heavy handed with it cause your girl is getting her double chin. And then I'm gonna go over my nose contour with the same bronzer. And I'm going all over my eyelids as well with the bronzer to give me the smoky eye effect. The brown smoky eye, however, this is a natural brown smoky eye because I have like hyper pigmentation on my eyelids and I didn't see the point of concealing it and then going over with a bronzer. I just decided to, you know, leave it as is. Yeah, this looks good for the most part. I'm gonna do a little bit of baking. Um, just using that to, you know, clean up the sides of the bridge of my nose and a little bit under my eye and then my smile lines and a little bit of reverse contouring so i'm gonna let that sit while i tight line my eye with a dark brown pencil you can skip this step this is especially flattering when you're not wearing false eyelashes it just gives you a little bit of an oomph with your eyelashes I don't know if you can tell the difference, it just looks better. <laughs> Put it in between my eyelids and I move back and forth. Please do not press it too hard, otherwise you hurt yourself. So yeah. Okay, now I'm going to blend this powder into my skin. And I'm going to push this under my skin with the puff. Last step for the base is powder blush. You can skip green blush and just use your powder blush and then you are good to go. I like to do the two because I have the two in my kit and I wanna use it. So if you have just powder blush, just use it. So I'm gonna apply that onto the apples of my cheeks. For setting spray, I'm gonna use MAC Fix Plus. I'm done with my base, so I'm gonna go ahead, set it in place. This is when I like to apply my mascara after setting spray. So if you're not applying false eyelashes, you can use your mascara after you set your face. Some mascaras run and they mess up your makeup, so I suggest you use it after you set your face. So 
so setting spray kind of gives your skin a sheen to it and i feel like when you apply highlighter on top of that it just gives the highlighter something to hold on to so in my opinion i feel like you should use highlighter after you set your face so you can just do what works for you but i personally like to use highlighter after setting spray i'm using this from mac i'm just putting that into my inner corners Just a little bit of highlighter, not a lot. For my lips, I'm gonna do a cool toned nude lipstick. I'm going in with my JLAX Beauty Core Lip Liner. I'm going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Berlin. Just going to use that to blend the lip liner. And then I'm going in with the NYX Lingerie in the shade number 10, Teddy. I'm gonna put that at the center. Okay, so this is the finished look. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. Every product that I use would be listed down below in the description box. Do not forget to like this video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And let me know what you think down below. Follow me on my socials. There are links down below as well. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Bye guys. Just me.